Welcome to the Eastern Cape of South Africa. We are with Dr. William Folds and his vet team, putting tracking collars on elephants. Fitting these amazing animals with technology can help scientists better understand their movements and impact on their habitat. The collars are essential for tracking the movements of these mega herbivores. Elephants are a highly successful species with a heavy impact on their environment. By using spatial data collection, Dr. Folds can map their impact and determine if the available space is enough for them. Um, this one just got picked up more recently, so that's fine. But When selecting which elephants to collar, we want to find a specific individual, whether it's one of the breeding females, because they're always part of the family group, or one of the bulls, because they spend a lot of time away from the herd, and their impact on the environment is the greatest. Once the elephants are identified, we get into a helicopter and locate them from the air. Our ecologist on this procedure has expert knowledge of ear patterns, like this again? tusk length, tail shape, and hair. Once identified, the appropriate elephant can be darted. On this day, we're fitting elephant collar that's actually got a piece of technology in it that we refer to as LoRa. It's a, it's a slightly different piece of tech to the traditional satellite collars. They're less expensive, which allows us to take more readings per day, gives us more information off these elephants. The holy grail, really, of technology is to get to a point where we have enough energy in the form of battery or solar power or kinetic generating devices that we can get to real-time monitoring. We can push this technology development to get us to that point one day. Then we'll really be in a space not only to understand these animals, but to also be able to protect them better and ensure that they, they live for many generations to come. <laughs> Fitting the collar is not an easy task. We have to ensure the correct circumference to make it a comfortable fit for the elephants. It takes a lot of coordination to get all the metal plates, lead weight, and screws tightened. Elephants have to breathe through their trunks, which often sounds like snoring. We have to roll them over on their side and prop their trunks open to allow them to breathe. While fitting the collar, we monitor their breathing, heart rate, temperature, and blood color. Breathing is odd. Well, is this too kink? Does it need to be straighter? a little bit of a kind of rattle as we breathe at the end. But I think just the fact that you know these are such charismatic species, giving any human being the opportunity to be up close, to actually get their hands on them, to feel this massive beast you know, breathing, to touch their skins, to feel those, those tiny little hairs that, that they have on their skins, their, their tactile hairs, and to experience pieces of anatomy that are just so bizarre and unusual for, for us. That opportunity and, and experience has a life-changing impact on humans. And when we connect people to nature through procedures like this, I have no doubt that those humans will never be the same people again. And that energy and that emotional connection that takes place there will drive them to do better things, not just for elephants, but for many other species in our environment. Fitting elephants with collars is a useful tool for wildlife vets, and these once-in-a-lifetime experiences serve as powerful catalysts for us to advocate for the conservation of these incredible animals and their habitats.